years. And I had my daughter Ivanka, she was very, did anybody hear of Ivanka, anybody? But she was a very young girl, she kept saying, Daddy, Daddy, can't we go ice skating? And year after year I'd say, you can't, they're building the rink. And finally I went down, I looked, and I saw 400 men, in those cases it was all men, I have to say. Today you have men and women as your construction people, which is great. But it was all men. They had 400 men sitting in the rink, not working. And I came back a half hour later, they still weren't working. They were taking lunch breaks many, many times a day. That Nobody was working. And they went out and they got from Miami Beach a expert on ice. But they meant refrigerators, not to make ice. And I'll never forget, sort of an interesting story. I hope it's interesting, but I got to tell it anyway, because who the hell wants to talk about politics all the time, right? <laughs> this politics gets a little boring. But what happened is... I went to the mayor, I said, listen, Mr. Mayor, Ed Koch, I said, it's seven years now, it's going to be eight, nine, ten, they have no idea. They use a thing called Freon, and that's a gas that goes through copper piping, copper tubing. They had six miles of copper, it had a four inches apart, and it was laid this massive rink, it's almost 90,000 square feet, that's like big, big office floors times three. Big spot, still there, you see it, I run it, I've run it for many, many years, it's been such a tremendous place. But they had the Freon, and it was laid four inches, miles of it, and every time they put this beautiful copper down, every single time, the next night, people would steal it. So they kept putting it down, kept getting sold. Putting it down, kept getting sold. Then they put the police force around, and it was fine. Until the police force decided to go to lunch, it was all stolen. So they were losing millions of dollars. They were actually in for $22 million, and they had nothing. And I went to see Ed Koch, and he said, I'm not going to let you do it. And then I went to see some of the newspapers. I went to the editorial boards. I said, the mayor won't let us do it. I can fix this thing. I'll do it in six months to a year. And you're going to be years and years. And they don't know what they're doing, and they're spending a fortune. And I'll never forget, I went to two editorial boards, New York Times, and the other one I won't say because I don't like the paper. But I do like the New York Post. I do like the New York Post. And they did editorials that you have to let them do it, you have to let them do it. Anyway, they let me do it. I took over the project, and a lot of people said, well, it was built, it wasn't built. It was, the, the concrete was poured, it was nine inches higher on one side than the other side. So when you poured the water, you had a big swimming pool here, and this one had done nothing. It was just a mess. And the one was so deep, you couldn't freeze it because it was too much. So I had to rip out the entire slab, and the slab was a foot and a half thick. It only had to be four inches. So we ripped it, and we did. And I finished it in four months. And I said, if it costs any more than $2 million, it's true, because it's a great government. You know, they study this at the Wharton School, they study it at Harvard, because it's the difference maybe between the public sector and the private sector. I went in, big, you know, it's really been, to this day, it's a great case study. I went in and we did a job like you wouldn't believe. We took out that horrible, big, massive slab of concrete. We leveled it out. But most importantly, I said to the people, What's with this Freon? I hear they're losing millions of dollars of copper tubing all the time. What is it? And I said, who are the people? And they said, well, it's an air conditioning firm from Miami. I said, from Miami? What do we, I don't want ice from Miami. So I called up a friend of mine who was a part owner of the Montreal Canadiens. Now we're talking, right? Ice. I said, would you do me a favor? Do you have anybody that knows how to make ice? For this guy in the world. I said, could I talk to him, please? And he came to New York, and he saw me. He said, this is crazy. He said, Mr. <coughs> Trump, they're going to have five miles of this piping. If there's a little pinhole, because it's gas, free on gas. If there's a little pinhole in five miles, it's, it's dead. He said, you don't want that. You want rubber hose, and you want water. And in the water, you put salt so it doesn't freeze. I said, boy, that sounds good. And I went out, and we bought it for a amount of money. And it was rubber hose every four inches, but it's rubber hose. We got the equipment. It's called brine. They call it brine. And we did the rubber hose. Nobody stole the rubber hose. Nobody wanted it. We didn't need, we didn't need security. Nobody stole the rubber hose. And we opened it up. 
And it was the most amazing thing. We put the rubber hose down, we tested it, there wasn't a leak in the whole thing. 6.2 miles of rubber hose. Can you believe it? That's a lot. That's uh, Wasn't a leak. Now what happened is we put the concrete over. We had concrete trucks lined up to Harlem. Now, my, all of my construction friends in that corner, in fact, they all have the worst seats. I don't know why. Construction guys usually have the best seats. But they understand what I'm talking about because we wanted a contiguous pour because the city used to pour 10 feet, come back a week later, pour another 10 feet, and yet all these blocks got, you want a contiguous pour. We had, all the way back to Harlem, we had trucks. And the most amazing thing, and they poured. It took two days to pour the slab. We actually made it six inches because that's better. And we turned on and we put two inches of water on top of this slab and they made lasers. It was such a perfect slab. To this day, it's perfect. They then put the water on top. I said, try it, because this thing hadn't had ice in nine years. I said, try it. And in two hours, we had the most beautiful ice, just like the Montreal Canadiens. And we had our room. And we had our room.